Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be showing something different. Um, what I have here with me is OBD11. Um, it's a device that works with Android phones and you can hook it up to your car OBD and essentially run it through uh, Android phone to connect to your car to do codings, diagnostic data and so forth. Um, two cars that I wanna use this on is a Volkswagen and then also down the road on Audis. Uh, so stay tuned for other videos, but for now, what I want to do is, uh, as you notice, um, the airbag light is on, and I know the reason it came on is because I tried to change this head unit with a um, factory replacement for RNS, I think 215 or 315, which has Bluetooth in it and had a GPS. Well, while trying to do that, I disconnected the airbag and essentially left it like that and the light came on. So what I'm trying to do is use the OBD um, device, the OBD11, to see the diagnostic data that it shows up on the phone and then also if I can reset that light or not or, or do I have to take it to a dealer. So let's get started. Uh, what I wanna do is, yeah, car is dirty, is get it inserted in here, you notice the OBD is right here. I'm gonna plug this in. So as you can notice, the device is plugged in. So what you're gonna do is, let's see if I can do it this way. We're gonna connect to it. And it's gonna, basically it's gonna allow, ask to allow the Bluetooth. I'm gonna say yes. While it's doing that, uh, make sure uh, you guys start up the car and go from there. Obviously, it has picked up the list. As you can see, it's asking for OBD11, so I'm gonna click on OBD11. I have not connected this device before, so let's see what this is done, doing. Do not unplug. Update, it's asking for an update, so we're gonna let it run through the update. Uh, so essentially, I think this is just like um, the Beamer Code app. Uh, when you run through the first time, it's going to ask for an update. So it updated. We're going to click OK. Um, let's get him get support password started. Sorry about that. I had to type in um, the password. Just make sure you type in the same password because I kept fat fingering it. Uh, model, uh, we're gonna do Jetta because that's where we have modification. Jetta, 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 Jetta NAR. Um, click OK. It's gonna try to connect. As you can see, it has connected. Um, it's telling me it's problems and active and so forth, so we're gonna scan it. So it's scanning all one of the 11s. So it has finished scanning. Um, now it's telling me there's two faulty control units. So let's see if he can hold to clear it. Um, let's see if it clears it. So while it's doing this, let me take you up here. You'll notice it has actually cleared um, off of the dash, the airbag warning that I was getting since I had replaced the head unit initially and I had to go back to because the Bluetooth wasn't working. Um, so that is great news that I can actually do it with the app and I do not have to, you don't have to go down to a dealer and spend 80 to $100 just to have the light reset uh, while they hook up their VCDS coding. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Um, pretty soon we're gonna be doing a coding video on Audi RS7. Thank you.